In February 2011, the corner of Hereford and Madras streets in Christchurch was a maelstrom of frantic activity. Under the eye of international media, rescuers desperately searched through the rubble of the CTV building, hoping against hope to find survivors after the devastating earthquakes brought the building down. 115 people died here, well over half the total number of fatalities from that dreadful day. Today, there's an eerie silence over the site which has been cleared. Where the media stood is just another road. Where the building stood is just an empty space. But on the other side of the road to the CTV site is a sign of new hope, because it's here on the site of St John's Latimer Square, which was also catastrophically damaged in the quake, that the Anglican Church is building its transitional cathedral, the so-called cardboard cathedral. Craig Dixon is one of those coordinating the project from the cathedral site. Who on earth came up with the idea for a cathedral made of cardboard? Oh, well, I guess Shigeru, really, uh, in that he's been building these sorts of structures since 1985. So I rang him up, well no, I emailed him and asked if he was able to come over and talk about the possibility and he was very keen. When you look at the, the building, it's, it's more than, than just building made of cardboard, it, it actually is, is quite a stunning structure in itself. It is, yeah, it's quite unique really. It looks like a simple structure but it looks like a triangle. But when you walk into the building when it's, when it's completed, you will notice that the, the, the roof line accelerates up into the air and also narrows as you walk into the building. So it's got this unusual activity going on on the roof line. So the design is, uh, is fascinating, but also the materials that we're using are fascinating. Not only the cardboard, but the, the roof itself is polycarbonate, plastic, almost clear, uh, slightly opaque, so the light will be going, coming in. And at night time, there'll be a glow as the lights inside the building glow out through this kind of sandwich polycarbonate roof. So this is one of the, the, the cardboard the cardboard tubes. It's not, uh, it's not the big tubes, is it? No, no. The, the, the tubes that, that you'll see when you walk into the building will be 600 millimetre in diameter and up to 23, 24 metres in height. That's massive, serious height. And the wall, probably about the same wall thickness, about 10 millimetres. But large tubes uh, sort of lining both sides of the building um, with the triangular shape and only 15 centimetres between each of them. So there's little, little shafts of light will be coming in between each of the tubes, about 98 tubes in the whole building. Shafts of light coming in through the daytime, shining on the floor, making all sorts of amazing designs and patterns, you imagine. It'll be covered in polyurethane, but it won't actually be exposed to the rain. The polycarbonate roof goes over the outside of these tubes, except in the entranceway where a few of the polycarbonate tubes will be exposed to the air, but but with the polyurethane, it's not a problem. So what's the, the time scale that we're talking about here in, in terms of, of how long is it going to be before you complete? Well, I've started construction on the foundation. We have resource consent for the foundation, so we can build everything below ground. We'll get consent for the building and we'll be able to start construction on the building too. A lot of the, the build takes place off-site, so the construction of these Tubes will take place at a place at uh, Sunoco, a, a, a contractor here will make the tubes. Big beams will go inside the tubes, they'll be produced uh, in the North Island, brought down, and they'll be assembled together off-site. So actually, the bill will be quite quick. It's almost a kit set. Everything will be shipped uh, or trucked in, and suddenly you'll see this thing being assembled quite fast. We, we had anticipated completion by Christmas this year, which is pretty ambitious and uh, we may not quite make that, we, we're going to try, but certainly it will take six months to build this structure, which is very fast. Now Shigeru doesn't just worry about the building because he's, he's designed these, these chairs that we're standing, sitting on. That's right, yeah, Shigeru, he likes not only to design the building, but he'll design the furniture, uh, he likes to have a big say in where all the lighting goes, you know. The building will be a kind of complete unit, complete design as far as he's concerned, which is great for us because it'll all kind of sync together and also be a wonderful thing for people to come and see. So yeah, these chairs, Sugar is designed. Uh, this is a prototype, it's very light. It uh, doesn't need to be coated in anything. It's just a uh, laminated timber and with one, one shape, this shape, repeatedly cut and you spin them around to be a leg or a back with a spacer in. Bolt them together, end of story. 
very cheap to produce and quite comfortable it's to sit on. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's very comfortable. Yeah. Once it's complete, then it's being used. But but what will happen to it at, at the the end of its life? Because it, as you say, it's a, it's a transitional building. So what happens next? Yeah, transitional, um, temporary. Uh, although Shigaru says uh, there's no such thing as a temporary building um, out of cardboard. This building could go on forever actually. It's been built completely to code. It's been built to last 50 years at least, so it could be here for 100 years. Uh, after we finish using it, we, the, we anticipate that a building will replace the cathedral in the square. But when that's finished, then the cathedral community will use that building and this temporary or transitional cathedral will become a parish church. So it's sitting on the site of a, where the parish church of St John's used to reside, was destroyed in the earthquake. So the congregation of St John's, quite a big congregation, and they can fill this large structure, so they'll take it over, and the cathedral, uh, the new cathedral will continue on. A lot of people are coming to us saying this is going to be fantastic. Today in the newspaper, there's an article about um, tourism in Christchurch and how difficult it is to attract people here. This building will attract people. It's going to be a fantastic structure and for the money that we're putting into it, it's going to be you know, money well spent. Talking about the money, we still have to find, we have some from the insurance money from the cathedral that we're able to put toward it, but about 1.3 million we need to find. So we're out there, as well as being busy putting the structure up, we're very busy looking for some help too complete the payment on it.